Hello everyone, good day. My name is Tebs, and I would like to welcome you back to this channel. This video shows how to fix an AV21QT1921 inch CRT TV, with a standby light but won't turn on. Do you like electronics and want to learn how to repair TVs and other gadgets? You've came to the right channel. So make sure to show your support by liking, subscribing, and ringing the notification bell so you never miss a video like this. So let's get started. Before we begin tracing the problem, let's clean it first. The TV is old but the board appears to be in good condition and has never been repaired. The TV seems like it does not continue to turn on. So let's do the voltage measuring. Let's measure the main B plus voltage. We will measure it onto this filter capacitor terminals. I'm plugging in the TV now. The voltage reading is stable at about 117.2 volts. Seems the main B plus voltage is normal. Let's measure the voltage of the EEPROM VCC. Checking the EEPROM VCC voltage is important because it is also the VCC of the system microcontroller or the brain of the TV. If the voltage is not right it will cause all the problems in operating this TV. We can measure the voltage at pin number 8 and at the ground. The voltage reading is stable at 4.94 volts. Very close to 5 volts so it is okay. We do not have a problem with the main B plus and the EEPROM VCC voltage. Let's check the horizontal output if is oscillating or not. We can measure it between the base and the emitter. We will set the multimeter to AC mode because the horizontal output is driven with a transformer so it is an AC
I'm plugging in the TV now. It is oscillating on and off, and the AC voltage is 1.12 volts. The TV seems detecting a problem so it does not continue to turn on. Let's measure the vertical output voltages. This is the vertical IC. I'm plugging in the TV now. The voltage readings are positive 16.8 volts and negative 14.6 volts. Seems the negative 14.6 volts is lower, it should be equal to the positive 16.8 volts. Let's measure the vertical output into these two terminals which are going to the deflection yoke of the vertical coil. I'm plugging in the TV now. The voltage is 12.5 volts DC, the voltage should not be DC, it should be AC volts. Let resolder the pins joints of the vertical IC, seems they are in cold solder. Let's also resolder the other component. Let's test the vertical output again. Still have DC volts of 12.5. Let's test in AC mode so you can see that it is really a DC voltage where the output reads. As you can see the reading is not right. There is no sign of a bloated capacitor. Mostly, in this case, the vertical IC is the problem. So let's remove it and try to replace it.
The vertical IC is finally removed. Let's remove the hardened thermal compound and replace a fresh thermal compound later. I don't have LA78045, let's replace it with LA78040B, they have the same function. In durability or wattage the LA78045 is better. But let's just use the LA78040B anyway. Let's install the vertical IC and heat sink in place. Then, we will solder the vertical IC pins and the heat sink holder. Let's clean the fresh soldered pin joints, so it will not look creepy. Now the vertical IC is soldered properly, let's try it now. Let's test it in DC mode first. I'm plugging in the TV now. The voltage is only 0.27 volts DC. Let's try in AC mode. We have AC volts now at 11.7 volts. And we have a display now. Mm -hmm. 
let's place back the main board and connect the cable line and see if we have a good reception Its looks have a good reception, and working great. Even if we don't replace the vertical output with the right value, the TV still works without any problems. Some TV works using the LA784040B. Some works only in a short time. I still recommend replacing the exact part number for better performance. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. Please like, share subscribe, and ring the notification bell to keep you up to date. Once again this is Tefs, see you again next time, and bye for now.